Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can quickly and easily get going by installing Drupal on a shared hosting platform. Now, the shared hosting platform I'm going to be using for this example is Bluehost. So, if you have a Bluehost account, you can follow along. And if you don't, don't worry about it. A lot of these one click installs are, are kind of similar. However, a Bluehost subscription is only like $3.95 a month. And if you sign up using the link in the description to this video, you'll actually be helping support Level Up tutorials. So let's get a Drupal install up and running on the internet in no time at all. So after we've logged into our Bluehost, you can see it's taken us to our hosting panel, or also known as occasionally as a cPanel and other services. And here we have some options, right? Uh, so we can come down here and you can see things like install WordPress or use uh, Weebly, one of these things here. However, you know, maybe see a install Drupal. To get there, we actually need to go to one-click installs. Now this is going to take you to an entirely separate site. Uh, however, it's sort of connected with all of these install scripts through Bluehost called this Mojo Marketplace. Now here, we can actually select what we want to install. And you'll see there's no option for Drupal 8 just quite yet because that is not fully released yet. However, uh, we can install Drupal 7, which is the current latest version. So let's go ahead and select Drupal 7 here. And we can click the green install button. Now it's going to ask you which of your domains you would like this to install to. If you have multiple domains on your account, you can go ahead and pick them uh, through the dropdown, or you could install it into a directory. However, I'd probably recommend just installing it to a domain and not a directory on your account. Now we can come and click check domain. This is just going to run a quick check. It's going to uh, allow you to see some advanced options, which yeah, we'll like to see some advanced options, and you want to check the I have read the terms. So for the advanced options, we can have things like our site name and title. So we can just say uh, Bluehost Drupal, okay, just so we can have something. Uh, the site email, and this is what email address you'd like the site to send email updates to. So I'm just gonna put my email in there. Now admin username and admin email address and an admin password here. Now feel free to not use or try this password on this URL because it's not going to work. I'm going to change it uh, just after submitting this install. So you can go ahead and click that install now button and it's going to go ahead and start to install your site. Okay, so now you're greeted with this message that your install is underway. It's gonna let you know when your install is complete. After your install is complete, you'll be able to access it and you'll have a site online with the domain already totally set up. Now the difference here between what we covered in the rest of the Drupal tutorials and what uh, this sort of installation is like is that in the Drupal tutorials, we're showing you how to do everything on your local file system with the intent that you would later move that website to a hosting platform or something uh, with Bluehost or a shared in one of these one-click installs. This is your site. It exists online. And if you want to access the files for your site, you'll have to do so through an FTP interface. Now, if you don't know or understand FTP, now might be a good opportunity to brush up on the basics of that. Okay, so we have your install is complete and now we can view credentials. And we can click view if you would like to see your credentials for the site. However, we can actually just browse to our site based on the URL that you have your uh, Bluehost account registered to. We can simply just type that in and you can see we have a Drupal install and it's using our Bluehost Drupal. It's having the basic Drupal theme here and we can go ahead and add our username. And now that we've logged in, let's go ahead and save this password. We now have access to the admin interface. So like I mentioned before, when adding modules and things like that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do so via an FTP interface because these files are not located on your local machine, but located on the shared Bluehost server. But either way, this site now exists online, and at the time of this video, if you're checking this out, you could really go to this URL, which I'll have in the description of the video, and see that this uh, Drupal Bluehost site exists. 
So perfect, we now have Drupal 7 up and running in absolutely no time at all, installed on a shared hosting, which is blue hosting of course, and our site's on the internet, and we're ready to start getting to modifying, adding our content, changing up our theme, and doing all sorts of cool stuff with your brand new site. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials, we love to hear from you. Also, if you're considering signing up for blue hosting, please do so with the link in the description description of the video that actually helps level up tutorials out a ton seeing how we don't charge for in our videos so if you're interested in Bluehost go ahead and sign up as a shared hosting service I can highly recommend it if you like this video please check out some of the other level up tutorials videos we have lots of exciting playlists from meteor to angular to polymer 1.0 and even some web design stuff using sketch app there's new videos every week and check out the video descriptions for awesome ways that you can help support this channel in creating free tutorials.